So today we're going to learn how to encode in PSPP. So there is a tutorial here in your step-by-step uh, -step tutorial on how to so in your in your Neo or in in, our, in the LMS. So I'll just show you how to encode this one manually. So you have installed your PSPP. So you have your data view and you have your variable view. Okay. So encode data in PSPP. You can always do this. Okay, so this is our data that we used previously for modules 1 to 4. Okay, so just this one. Uh, the new MC is not included, so you can start with, you just can, you can just copy everything, all the data at least. Okay, there are 25 of them. Then you go to your data view. And then, of course, you paste. So, until 25. Okay. So, are the variables are... Variable 1 and variable 2 are missing. Because they are not in... They are not in numeric form. So we can change the type here to, to string. Okay. You can also type this one. Change the type here to string. Okay. We go back. Since wala sa Japan class, just copy this one. Okay. Copy this one. Then. Okay. Copy this one. Copy. And in PSPP, select this. Paste. And paste. Okay. okay. Then I think this one. You don't have a new MC, no? Because you have multiply multiply this one two times ten to get this value. So para madula ang point ang decimal places. So you can actually clear variables. Or you can include the variables. So, so, this is now your data set. Wala na to ang new MC. When you go to your variable class, then you can actually rename this one. So, let's just copy the names. So, the first one is company name. This is company, company name. In variable 2, that's your exchange. Or I'm gonna gamut for exchange, my exchange. Variable 3, that's now your MC or market capital. So you can have market capital. Remember, there's no spaces in naming your variables. Then PER or price earning ratio. So you can have price. Earning ratio. And lastly, we have your GPM or gross profit margin. Similarly, in the wheel decimal places, you can have two decimal values, so you can actually remove or add. Okay, then label. And value, value labels. Okay. Then this one, nominal, because this is a name. You can also use this is also nominal since this is also a name. Then market capital, price earning, and gross profit ratios are scales. Okay, you use scales since 
if you're going to for research later if 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 the frequency is for example rate satisfaction from one to five then you use ordinal but for now since this is um, the data that are in million dollars diba? so you can have that one as scale so that's scale so we go to your data view so this is now your data view okay so let's save this one So let's save this one. So, gonna save. I'm an organized person, so that's why I'm also organizing this one so that I will not miss it finding it later. So this is for statistics, and this is usually for tutorials. Then a file name is data for. ESPP test. Okay, let me save this one. Let's now go test name. And then in your in your mail, you're asked to do a frequency count and descriptive, so meaning that you're going to test if the data here is the same as your data set that you can gain. Okay, so let's go to your frequencies first. So frequencies is your mean standard deviation, minimum, maximum, variance. So click on whatever you want to solve. Range. Then you also use skewness. And let's just check the data here that we tested last time. For mean, median, mode. I use what? Mean standard error, mean, median, mode. That one mode median and sum. Okay, or actually, you can click na lang tanang class so that you let's just compare later. Okay, so for variables, what did we test last time? Show me uh, GPM, the GPM. We tested your PM. So, PM. And okay. Then you can also use charge uh, later. Okay. Okay. And this is now the output. So, this is now the result. So, we can compare this one with your previous result. Valid 95 missing 1, okay, 26 na siya. So, the mean is 38.89. Oh, the mean is 38.89. Uh, the median is 36.40. Okay. The mode, wala, wala man mode. <laughs> okay. The standard deviation is 18.57. 18.57. And the variance is 344.81. 344.81. So, that's correct. And the rest of the data, I think, will also follow from here. 97.3 on sum. The count is 25. Sample uh, cortosis is negative 0 0.51. Um, cortosis, negative 0 0.52. Okay, so that's correct. Okay, so this is now for your frequencies. And next, let's test your descriptives or gross profit margin. Okay. Ah, okay. It's just the same. I want to show descriptives man, because frequencies. Okay, you, know, you check everything already. Okay. Oh, I think I'm... Or another one is descriptive frequencies, then you can do charts. Okay, so histograms, bar charts, pie charts. Then continue. Or uh, what did we do last time? Exchange, market capital. Price ratio earnings. 
I think no, I think they only use exchange. So we can remove this one and do a socket margin. And okay. Charts. Okay, so this is NYSE, AMX OTC, and bar chart. I think this is the missing one. You can remove this one. Or you remove this one because there's no content. So, bar chart. So, you can compare this one to the bar graph on the pie charts we created before. XMSE. And bar graph. Um, histogram. Bar chart. Okay. And next. And have analyzed descriptive frequencies and you can use your frequency distribution table uh, let's check um, 132 to frequencies i think that's your mc yeah? market capital so market capital ah. Ascending values. Okay. Uh, then we're going to use your market capital for the frequency tables. Okay. Okay, so we have your histogram. So zero to fifty market capital histogram for market capital. Fifty, fifty to one hundred, one hundred to one fifty, one fifty to two hundred, then one hundred to hundred fifty. Standard deviation is seventy six. The mean is one hundred twelve point four, and is twenty five. So let's check that one if that's correct. 112.42 standard deviation of 75. Okay. So that's 76. Okay. So that's your capital. And this is its histogram frequency distribution table. This is its frequency. Okay. Frequency distribution table is not for group data, it's only group. Okay, so you can also use this one histogram scatter plot bar chart yes. okay so that's for for statistics uh, that's for your so to check your um, data in PSPT is the same with your or how to encode data in PSPP so another way to encode data from BSPP is to upload directly uh, if it's possible. Okay. okay, so you can have this one. Then open location. Okay. Documents. Sort of steam. Statistics. Oh. Um, all files okay then uh, our EO09XLSC and it's possible okay so it's not possible to do this error so. hmm? not everything can be used but that's possible if you're using SPSS, so it's possible for PSPP, and that's fine. Okay, okay, so that's your tutorial on how to encode data in PSPP. 
and of course how to check for mean median and mode um mean median and mode or other descriptive statistics using PSP.